Hello world, it's me, MRG, and welcome back to Echo. Now, on the last video, I just noticed that when I changed the options, when I changed a few functions in the options menu where I enabled the subtitles, the video somewhat uh, changed and it didn't center on the screen. So, hopefully, in this episode, it we won't encounter that problem again. First, let's check the uh, recording of it. My check. Why are we back here? I thought we were already done with this. So there are certain points where the game would. Hundred year hall is quite the extreme. Foster's longest was sixteen. Plenty. He trusted you and said that I could too, that you would help me. Foster didn't leave me much choice. You don't mess up a job for your grandfather and then team up with the person you were sent out to get in the first place. You could have just handed me back. You really are naive. I think you're doing this because you believe there's a chance to get your friend back. You're so caught up in your homemade religion that you're oblivious to common sense. I warned Foster about you resourcefuls. Best not to deal with your kind. Why did you then? Get involved, I mean. Foster disagreed. And gold makes for a powerful argument. Yeah, in the first video, I was already done with this. And I was at the point ahead, but I guess it didn't save. And it only saves at a certain point, and you can't just simply exit the game and save anywhere you want. Must be a way inside down there. That looks like some kind of landing bay. It looks like nothing of the sort. You know, you're nothing like I expected from a friend of Foster's. Such an odd team. An old rescue vessel from the requisition and a man without a past. None of our marks knew what hit them. And then we were gone. The stuff we pulled off. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. I was one of your jobs. A thieving rich kid with a gambling problem hardly qualifies. I got the brief. Not much of a distraction, really. No one giving a shit about you where you dug down. Only challenge Foster could see was that your grandfather wanted you to willingly hand back whatever it was you stole from him. You're wrong about everything. Even Foster. I seriously doubt that I am. He was good, Foster. Always had his eye on the ball. You may think you knew him, but he felt sorry for you. He would never let that happen. I don't know what went wrong that night. 
why Foster died. But I'm sure you don't understand much of it either. Sorry, I didn't mean to threaten your rooms. Cute. Finally, something. Hmm. This looks like a door of some sort. Need to pull. It's stuck. I need some tools. There's a gun packing a punch. I have a gun? Aim, shoot, cast one cell. So, aim with the right mouse button, shoot with the left mouse button. Okay. Wow, I like it. I'm taking the gun offline to preserve energy. <laughs> I can't use my gun. I'll be there. Are you getting all this? I'm with you. See, there was something. There's a walk, a run, <laughs> and a slow jog. I don't know why they include that one. about the palace. What's the plan now? We get across the park and then we leave. I was hoping for something more specific. I suppose we're looking for some sort of apparatus like the one Grant's had. Would that be the soul sucker? I'll know it when I see it. Even if you did find the thing, this place is dead. What mythic technology might be here is now useless. We just need to power her up. Tell her that we're here. I can feel this is going to work out just fine. Shouting, press R. Hello? Anyone home? I'm moving down. There must be some sort of power below this. Let's check this one first. Anyone home? Hmm. I can spam R. Shout. Hello? Shouting. Is that your plan? Hello? Hello? <laughs> Anyone home? I think that's just me. That's just a mirror. I thought it was someone. Hello? Damn, that's creepy. Hello? I recognize these. 
They look like the stone faces at the gates between the garden terraces. I think it's a door of some sort. We call them gatekeepers. They were supposed to make us ponder if we were worthy to pass. You're not getting through without power, and this place is dead. Anyone home? The resourcefuls call them voices. Strike them and let the true tone interfere to find clarity and enlightenment. Ah, of course. What does that mean? The suit detects a pattern to the sound, and the decryption is kicking in. Hear that? Sounds like someone is whispering. Or maybe I'm just hearing things. Anyone home? This place is huge. Shh. <sighs> That's just my reflection. No, it's definitely picking up something. I think they're pieces of a puzzle. We need more of them to find out what it is. See? There's a whisper at the end of the sound clip hmm. I wonder how many tuning forks I need to find and I'm going deeper and deeper lower and lower Different. Which door? This door? Let's jump down. <coughs> that was weird. I bet that's an activation mechanism for the door. When I landed, I didn't make a sound. Hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six. Faces, six doors. This is meaningless. Foster is dead. Some things just cannot be undone. Think about it. If you could capture the souls of the dead in a cube and then bring the person back to life, surely it would be a huge industry. It's not like that. I know for a fact that he's in there. I have wondered how you came to believe that, but I doubt that I'll agree with your reasoning. Your resourcefuls are too far removed from reality to make sense. You've seen nothing but the bought and paid for fairy tale designed by your grandfather. Well, the reality of my fairy tale upbringing was that it was all about this place. No, even before that, my genes. Grant spent centuries creating his resourcefuls, carefully picking potential from the gene pool. We were created to come here, and this game was very hard to make.
a small gravity charge inside the scepter. Perhaps it can power the big door. The pedestal looks like the activation mechanism. And I just picked it up. Just out of curiosity, What's the higher meaning of keeping scepters displayed inside huge rings made of gold? <laughs> it does seem a bit much, even if you are filthy rich. The rings were not for show. They are part of our training. Oh, and you do what exactly? Step inside and feel wealthy? Mm, not quite. The rings spin up and the challenge is to get out in one piece. Our first staying in there is the only sane thing to do. But as the hunger comes, the rhythm of the spinning starts to sink in. At the same point, you realize that starving eats away at your chance of making it out. And me. No sweets, you know. Right. You almost had me going there for a while. Huh. Now I have the scepter, maybe it's the key to... Where was that? Was it here? By the way, I don't know if you noticed that there were no other exits from this pit than the big door. How I hope the scepter will magically make it open. It will mm. work. Must be nice always feeling that the world will act in your favor. It doesn't though. My guess is that you will learn this momentarily. Mm. I have a snooty AI. Oh well, let's find out. Let's see. Nothing. What a shock. Give it a moment. Looks like you might be joining Foster after all, just not the way you imagined. I don't get it. What Grams did to hundreds of resourceful spirits? What's that? I saw it the day I came to you. What was that? The subject lies down on a marble surface with a strange silver pattern. Did you see that on the upper right corner? Folds, pierces the skin and slithers inside. Over half an hour it consumes everything. All that remains is an empty slab of marble and a newly formed cube. He called it the translation. The flesh and the soul shall enter the palace through separate doors. Oh, we said it a thousand times, never realizing. I didn't catch Foster's soul in a magical cure. He was dying, and I translated him. You killed him? The fact that your grandfather did unspeakable things doesn't prove he was right. That Foster can come back? That's insane! It was the only chance we had, and believe me, I'm good at chances. I gamble for a living, remember? Oh, I stayed alive all these years after leaving the gardens. Well, this time it didn't pan out. Look at you now. You think I'm giving up? See? Told you, give it time. We're going deeper and deeper. More darkness. Do you see that? See what? The dim glow. The activation of the door must have triggered a chemiluminescent. Not uncommon for evacuation purposes. At 
least there's some light. That's what I said. This hallway alone could easily house all the resources that ever were. You finding anything here without coordinates would be a miracle. Mm. I compared the quarters you're in now with the overall structure of the planet. The palace is everywhere, all the way to the core. Huge sectors separated by the outside structures you were in. How many floors are there? Check this one out first. Hmm. Dead end. this hallway is it would take me forever to walk even to run just to reach the end hmm. Hmm. I can descend Getting some local increases in energy emission. Know what it is? Can't tell. It's not radiation. One of them is close to your location. I'll pin it to your HUD. Uh, do I have to go down? Can I go down? No. Okay. Well, at least now we have. We're not walking around aimlessly. To give it to him, the old man. This place is spectacular. Nothing but an infinite palace would suffice for you resourcefuls. I wish you'd stop calling me resourceful. It's what you are. I had the training, but I never bought into Grant's vision. I never wanted any of this. Yet here you are. I was six the first time I ran away. I hiked for weeks to see what was beyond the gardens. When I finally reached the room, Grants was there waiting for me. There's nothing out there but people living like animals, fighting to please their immediate needs and desires. They have no ambition, no perspective. Why fight to get the best out of the little time you have on Earth when you could be fighting to have much more? He went on about the wonders of the palace. He had already lost me. All I could hear was the blood rushing in my veins. I wanted that. To fight for the here and now. I decided that I would do whatever it took to make that happen. So I went back with her to follow the train, figuring I'd need it to get away. And I could. He called me his prize. Before the turn, I ran, just shy of 15. I've been out for seven years now. Not really what you'd call a running away from home excursion. Not really, no. London, you've got to believe me. Foster was a bloody mess and wouldn't have made it out alive. None of us would if I tried to escape with him. He gave you the lighter, so he must have wanted me to take you here. But he would never buy into your grandfather's delusions. It's so far-fetched it almost makes me sick. Okay, we're almost there. Maybe 100 meters. Wait. Hmm. Is 
that a throne? It's a throne. door to something bad really bad Massive power surges are blazing through the outside structures, and the gravity climbing nearly tore me apart. She's waking up. More like malfunctioning. With those reaction veins crossed. Wait, what's that? Something's wrong with your HUD. What? I think it's the cube telling me where to go. It happened when I put it on my back. Unlikely. The suit is hard coded, and all blocks capped to the minimum. No room for adding to or altering the code. Open. Yes, at least the doors are now active and powered. The suit's being enabled to interface with the panels. Maybe it's Foster trying to help. Foster was many things, but not a systems physicist. Why are you still denying that we have a chance? Everything around us is a marvel. Everything around you is critically unstable. I think the whole place is malfunctioning. You should be getting out of there. I got a new waypoint, and it's a lot closer. Closer than... wait. Where's the 600 kilometers? It's gone. Not that way. Damn. That my cube reacted with that. It charged my suit. 
I don't know what sort so. of holographic phenomenon that was, but it was extremely compatible with the dual retention system of your suit. There's another one. Look, there are more of them. Power for your suit won't be a problem. The outside of the palace sectors burn red hot, but even inside the walls and floors, I read a buildup of gravity charge. Why would anyone need power on a scale like that? I hope it's not part of the malfunction. Overcharging would be catastrophic. Always seem the best. Hmm, a tuning fork. Okay. Hmm, this way. Okay. This way. Dead end. Systems shut down, but it's still charging. The jewel mass is nearing the direct charge. That felt horrible. I couldn't move. It was a massive energy discharge. It must have made your suit brace. The lights have stabilized. The discharge kicked in system processes planet wide, but it's producing a lot more energy than needed. Building up charge again. Uh, I think uh, uh, at least everything is bright now. No, no more wondering. Uh, I spoke too soon. Hey, give me a break. Again. Another discharge. I met Doctor. There's Anna. Oh. How is that possible? I don't know. The chemical composition of the environment was altered in the blink of an eye. That must have been what the energy buildup was for. Hmm? The waypoint changed. Now what? What the flowers? They weren't here before the blackout, right? No, they were not. I guess it's part of the welcoming package. What now? More flowers? What changed? What's that? What is that? Huh? I don't know. No, there are more of them. And there are more. Everything is so neat. Weird how it scatters these chunks all over. And another black out. This one moves. Worse. It's alive. The sphere appears when humans or animals are detected in close proximity, but this...
Hey, are you a uh, leftover from prey? Uh, what 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 were those? Uh, I forgot what they were called. Ah, uh, I really forgot what those black things were called on the Prey game. Now what? Are those black things growing? What are they? It can't be Foster, right? I mean, the palace did try to read the cube and then malfunction. This can't be the palace attempting to bring him back, right? There are a lot of, of those. That's not Foster. It's not sentient. It seems to be growing with each blackout. And there's a lot. Eventually, one of these blackouts, something will jump out at me. What does that mean? See? I get color now. The suit senses a threat. Yellow means that you might be noticed. Red means you're targeted. Heads. The spirit activates if life forms are detected. Lighting up in the direction of the readings. The size of the marker reflects the approximate visual silhouette of the life form. Color changes from the neutral blue if the suit perceives the life form as a threat. Yellow if you are in an enemy side of sight. If you are, if you stay here, you will be discovered. Red, you are hunted. Orange, you are hunted but hidden. The enemy will search for you. Maybe eventually those things will grow legs and start walking. They'll be walking. Soon. Ouch. Are you still Shoot. sure this is a good idea? I spoke too soon. <clears throat> what can they do anyway? Okay, let's hide for now. I don't know what's most absurd. The palace populating itself with these grotesque hostiles, or you charging on like you'll be able to survive when they're fully evolved. I never expected this to be easy. Go down. Okay. Is that me? Is, 
What is this? That's you, Em. That's me. But why would it build a police of me? E or F? I can't see. Was that an E or an F? Seriously. Wait. Did I die? Oh, I guess I died. So, is that an E or an F? What is it? That's you, Em. Let's spam E. Why would it build copies of me? E or F? Okay, let's press F this time. I guess it would make sense since F means break free. What is this? That's you, Em. But why would it build copies of me? The red spikes suggest that you won't survive another encounter like that. I don't get it. Why would the palace copy and then attack the first human to arrive? It makes no sense. The constant crashing indicates deep corruption. Those creatures must be part of that malfunction. You were hurt. Information tab. Getting hurt triggers the suit's restorative support system. This is shown in the HUD as a pulsating red sphere of spikes. Well, sphere is visible. It means that you are in a critical state. Any further injuries are there. Okay. Can't run now, can it? Okay. I'm guessing on the next block out it would be able to run. Or at least walk. Or jog or trod. Okay. Uh oh. Pushing tap F cost stamina. Headshot. Okay. No. Okay. 
okay another black out now what Oh shit! I thought you said the gun was lethal. It is. So, the palace resurrected them? Who knows what this death trap is capable of? My guess is things will only get worse. You really need to work on your motivational skills. Shooting advanced use. Aim on right mouse button and fire on left mouse button. One shot, use one cell of energy. Lethal. Kills any number of targets along its vector. Head or pinky shot. It makes no. Ah, okay. So no need to shoot the head. Range 50 meters, sound level loud. Vertical. It's got turns red on variable targets. The number of vertical rings counts the number of targets currently overlapping the aim vector from 1 to 3 plus. Tagging. Aiming at an enemy for 2 seconds will tag the enemy, tag the target. The tar this tag will remain. But it's only visible when the target is within 50 meter radius. Quick aiming in the direction of a tag enemy will snap the vertical to center. Pass. What? Why is my cube glowing? When behind enemy, hold F, advance you stop. Take down position behind enemy, hold F to do a lethal takedown. It's not completely silent, will alert other enemies in close proximity. Let's try that. What? Lethal takedown. I must be doing something wrong. I think I needed to hold F. They're everywhere. Shoot. Now what? Oh man. Hey. 
Over here. faster after each blackout. If they swarm you, use the gun's riot function. It's not lethal like the main driver, but it will knock down everyone in close proximity. Got it. Aim on right side fire on with the last button. Set plus one. Range four meters at 180 degrees. And little crowd dispersal will knock over anyone within a frontal radius of four. Loud. Threat within range are marked with both brackets. Let's just see now. Okay, this is not good.
Over here. Over here. Over here! Over here! Hey! Creating weird imprints on me. How strange. <gasps> hmm. suit's ability to retain energy from your surroundings. Found in the palace is crystalline resource, strangely perfect for increasing the suit's cell capacity. When you have collected six crystals, you get one additional cell slot. The number of display the number displayed in the cell meter shows the remaining number of crystals needed to upgrade. Okay. So I need um, five. Make an impact of me. It's closing fast. You won't make it. It feels like this damn suit is slowing me down. You're just out of stasis. It's protecting you. I don't want that. If you insist, it'll be painful and your range limited. Sprinting. Hold space. Cost stamina.
is this now? It activated a new interface. I wonder what it's monitoring. 16.9 You should touch down system ensure safe landing for heights between 4 and 15 meters depending on the descent Send distance to cause this one to two cells if you charge is a sufficient suit will stop you from leaping. Ah sending from heights below four is done without the touchdown has no cell cost. Both crouching and walking is less audible than jogging. Voices spread throughout the palace are the voices tuning for those whose sound is encoded with bits of an encrypted data pattern. Each voice contains a unique Fragment and, it's, and as you strike them, the suit will compile the information. Fragments are visualized as colored stripes in the pop up HUD. The blue stripes denote the data that has been siphoned so far, and the yellow stripes the data is just collected. When the bar is completely filled out, the data pattern is complete. Mm-hmm. So I have that. HUD. Hold Q to deploy cell cost area scan outlines before expanding suit HUD sphere into the shadow transfer and ratio of 20 seconds enables you to see and miss true obstacles but of course your local sphere radar scan waves passes over points of interest. Small ripples will appear and briefly indicate the direction. Interesting. Waypoint. Visual navigation markers. Displace distance in meters corresponds with the HUD ring arrows. Listen, HUD point protection waypoints, objectives, and key markers. Distance building in the meters can be found inside of the arrow. Close combat. Tap F to push. Pushing rates your stamina and it's only possible when the stamina bar is in blue. Always be the nearest enemy that we push regardless of the direction. Hold F to do a little takedown. Enemy grabs you, press F repeatedly to beg free. Ah, struggling will result in damage if you enter it. Struggle while the hurt sphere is visible to you, you will be able to survive. Struggle with two enemies. Simultaneous by taking on three means you are too severely outnumbered and you will not be able to survive. Stamina exertion draws on your stamina with a stamina bar appear in the HUD. The bar change is scored depending on how much stamina you have left in keeping options. Push and sprint. Sprint. Exhausted. Shooting. Vertical tagging. Quick aim assist. Shouting. Hold R to hold out. R to whisper. Tap R to whisper. Ah, okay. okay. Oh my. That's a lot. Why did it black out?
Ah. Oh. Why is it making an impression? I jump up. No. Oh shit. I bet the pavilion will open when I've collected enough orbs. What are they doing? Blacking out more frequently. Is he holding a gun? That's all the time we have for this episode. It's kind of a getting a bit tricky since they keep respawning. I can't just simply shoot them down one by one and wait for my energy to recharge and then keep on shooting them. So anyway, we'll see what how this goes in the next video. I'll see you by then. See ya.